Have you ever imagined building your own timer circuit where an LED turns on for a few moments and then automatically switches off just like magic? Well, today I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to make this fascinating DIY timer circuit using simple components you might already have. First, the main heart of our circuit will be a 12 volt relay. A relay is basically an electromagnetic switch that can control high power devices with a low power signal. To keep it steady while I work, I'll paste some double-sided tape underneath and fix it firmly on my working table. Next, I'll apply solder on all the relay pins to prepare them for connections. Now I'll take a 1N4007 diode, an important component for protecting circuits from back EMF generated by the relay coil. I'll solder the diode between one of the coil pins and the common pole pin of the relay. This ensures our circuit remains safe from voltage spikes. Once soldered, I'll trim off the extra pin for neatness. Moving forward, I'll use a BC547 transistor, a general purpose NPN transistor. Its job is to amplify the signal and control the relay. I'll solder its collector pin directly to the relay's coil pin. To make the timing function work, I'll now use a 1000 microfarad capacitor. Capacitors are key in time delay circuits because they store and release charge gradually. I'll connect the negative pin of the capacitor to the emitter pin of the transistor. For proper biasing of the transistor, I'll solder a 1K ohm resistor between the positive pin of the capacitor and the base pin of the transistor. This resistor controls the charging and discharging rate of the capacitor, which directly sets the timer duration. Then I'll cut the extra pins to tidy things up. Now let's connect an indicator, a 12 volt LED. I'll solder the positive wire of the LED to the normally open pin of the relay and the negative wire to the capacitor's negative terminal. This way the LED will only light up when the relay activates. To make the circuit more interactive, I'll add a touch switch. One wire of the switch goes to the positive pin of the capacitor and the other wire connects to the cathode of the diode. This touch switch will act as our trigger to start the timer. Finally, I'll connect the power supply. The negative wire of a 12 volt battery will go to the capacitor's negative pin and the positive wire will connect to the diode's cathode. With this, the circuit is fully powered and ready for testing. When I press the touch button, the capacitor charges, the transistor switches on, and the relay activates, allowing the LED to glow. But here comes the magic. After a few seconds, as the capacitor discharges, the LED automatically turns off. This is called a timer delay circuit. The capacitor decides how long the LED stays on. A larger capacitor or higher resistor value will increase the on time, while smaller values will decrease it. This simple setup is a practical example of how timers in electronics work. Where it can be used? Automatic lighting systems like staircase lights or bathroom lights that turn off after a delay, DIY electronic projects for students and hobbyists, appliances that need short-timed operations, can even be modified for motor control or alarm systems. So, what do you think about this smart little timer? Would you like me to make a version where we can adjust the time delay with a variable resistor? Let me know in the comments below!